The true air speed of an aircraft is the speed of the aircraft relative to the air mass in which it is flying. The true air speed is important information for accurate navigation of an aircraft. Traditionally it is measured using an analog TAS indicator, but as the global positioning system has become available for civilian use, the importance of such analog instruments has decreased. Since indicated air speed is a better indicator of power used and lift available, true air speed is not used for controlling the aircraft during taxiing, takeoff, climb, descent, approach or landing. For these purposes the indicated air speed a Euro IAS or KIAS a Euro is used. However, since indicated air speed only shows true speed through the air at standard sea level pressure and temperature, a TAS meter is necessary for navigation purposes at cruising altitude in less dense air. The IAS meter reads very nearly the TAS at lower altitude and at lower speed. On jet airliners the TAS meter is usually hidden at speeds below 200 knots. Neither provides for accurate speed over the ground, since surface winds or winds aloft are not taken into account. Performance TAS is the true measure of aircraft performance and cruise, thus it is the speed listed in aircraft specifications, manuals, performance comparisons, pilot reports, and every situation when actual performance needs to be measured. It is the speed normally listed on the flight plan, also used in flight planning, before considering the effects of wind. Airspeed sensing errors The airspeed indicator, driven by ram air into a pitot tube and still air into a barometric static port, and shows what is called indicated airspeed. The differential pressure is affected by air density. The ratio between the two measurements is temperature dependent and pressure dependent, according to the ideal gas law. At sea level in the international standard atmosphere and at low speeds where air compressibility is negligible, IAS corresponds to TAS. When the air density or temperature around the aircraft differs from standard sea level conditions, IAS will no longer correspond to TAS, thus it will no longer reflect aircraft performance. The ASI will indicate less than TAS when the air density decreases due to a change in altitude or air temperature. For this reason, TAS cannot be measured directly. In flight, it can be calculated either by using an E6B flight calculator or its equivalent. For low speeds, the data required are static air temperature, pressure altitude and IAS. Above approximately 100 knots, the compressibility error rises significantly and TAS must be calculated by the max speed. MAC incorporates the above data including the compressibility factor. Modern aircraft instrumentation use an air data computer to perform this calculation in real time and display the TAS reading directly on the EFIS. Since temperature variations are of a smaller influence, the ASI error can be roughly estimated as indicating about 2% less than TAS per 1000 feet of altitude above sea level. For example, an aircraft flying at 15,000 feet in the international standard atmosphere with an IAS of 100 knots, is actually flying at 126 knots TAS. Using navigation calculations, to maintain a desired ground track whilst flying in the moving air mass, the pilot of an aircraft must use knowledge of wind speed, wind direction, and true air speed to determine the required heading. See also wind triangle. Calculating true air speed. Equals low speed flight equals, at low speeds and altitudes, IAS and CAS are close to equivalent air speed. TAS can be calculated as a function of EAS and air density. Where, is true air speed, is equivalent air speed, is the air density at sea level in the international standard atmosphere, is the density of the air in which the aircraft is flying. Equals high speed flight equals, TAS can be calculated as a function of Mach number and static air temperature. Where, is the speed of sound at standard sea level, is Mach number, is static air temperature in kelvins, is the temperature at standard sea level, for manual calculation of TAS in knots where Mach number and static air temperature are known, the expression may be simplified to. Remembering temperature is in kelvin, combining the above with the expression for Mach number gives an expression for TAS as a function of impact pressure, static pressure and static air temperature. Where is impact pressure, 
is static pressure. Electronic flight instrument systems contain an air data computer with inputs of impact pressure, static pressure and total air temperature. In order to compute TAS the air data computer must convert total air temperature to static air temperature. This is also a function of Mach number. Where, total air temperature, in simple aircraft, without an air data computer or matchmeter, true air speed can be calculated as a function of calibrated air speed and local air density. Some air speed indicators incorporate a slide rule mechanism to perform this calculation. Otherwise, it can be performed using the Zeppelet or a device such as the E6B. See also, equivalent air speed, indicated air speed, calibrated air speed, flight planning. Notes. References. Air Navigation. Department of the Air Force. December 1, 1989. AFM 51-40. Clancy, L.J., 1975, Aerodynamics, Chapter 3. Pittman Publishing Limited, London. ISBN 0-273-01120-0. Kermode, AC, Mechanics of Flight, Chapter 2. Pittman Publishing Limited, London. ISBN 0-273-31623-0. Gracie, William, Measurement of Aircraft Speed and Altitude, NASA Reference Publication 1046. External links, a free Windows calculator which converts between various air speeds according to the appropriate atmospheric conditions, Android application for air speed conversion in different atmospheric conditions, true, equivalent, and calibrated air speed at math pages, Nabite air speed converter, Android version, avc.ersment.com, true air speed calculator. Calculate true air speed, Mac. P.tube impact air pressure and more at louismontero.com.